So the you talked about the home advantage, but there will obviously be a lot of pressure on your shoulders. A lot of people wanting you to win, expecting you to win. Is that something you welcome? Yeah, I mean you have to just analyse what pressure is. It's loads of people wanting you to do well. Mm. So yeah. you know, it'd be crazy to think of that negatively. Um, I just want to embrace it and use it. Taking you back to when you first took up the sport, when did you ever have aspirations of the rainbow jersey? When did it first come on your radar that this is the gold standard of a cyclist? Um, I mean, I grew up in a team of incredibly strong women. Nicole Cook was world champion. Mm. I was part of a world championship winning team. Uh, Emma Pooley was time trial world champion. You know, the rainbow jersey was pretty prevalent in yeah. the women's, you Earl know, Burton, yeah, you know, day. there's been a few yeah. British world champions on the women's side, so, uh, I mean, as soon as I started, mm. really, yeah. So, going back to Richmond as well, is that, you still look at that as your crowning moment? Hmm, yeah, I mean, I delivered as a favourite, um, mm. and that's really hard to do, um, and everything I put into that was kind of vindicated by the yeah. by the world title. So that yeah, I delivered and, and performed when I needed to, but um, probably the most enjoyable moment of my career is still twenty twelve. Mm. Yeah. The fans, the occasion. Yeah, the occasion, the fans, the just you know, standing on the mile with a yeah. medal around your neck with all your family there was pretty unbeatable I think. Yeah, the atmosphere was great, the rain coming down. Yeah, well, exactly, yeah. 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 Um, just sorry, on the Worlds, Richmond, the first picture of you crying as you cross the line. Just to explain that, that, how much of that meant to you, that moment when, when it dawned on you? I think it was, yeah, just surreal. Um, and you want, you're in that moment, you're like, I need to take all this in, mm. but I can't. I can't process it all because I've been waiting for it and working for it for so long. So it was a kind of um, overwhelming feeling, really. Yeah. Um, the feeling when I crossed the line was like, yes, I've done it. And that's all I can really remember. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Yeah. Uh, have you set a, a retirement date yet? Are you thinking about that? I think post Tokyo, post the next Olympics, yeah. that's when I'll make a, a real decision on it. Um, I mean, definitely going to Tokyo. That's my biggest aim mm. to be Olympic champion, and then after that, you know, we'll see. That would be the crowning moment. Yeah, it would be nice, yeah.